Okay, so we're ready to create the child theme and just quickly before we do that, let's have a look at what the website looks like now um, because some things will uh, be slightly broken um, in this process. Nothing to panic over, but let's just have a look at these menus at the top here. Um, that's my main menu and then at the bottom uh, there's a secondary footer menu here, um, content on the left and custom uh, sidebars on the right using widgets which are actually used which actually use the page builder function of the Divi theme. Okay now some of these are going to be upset when we create a child theme because some of these settings are not um, automatically carried over but they're relatively easy to fix. So let's go and create the child theme then. Just press this button. Okay, child theme has been created. So it's created that uh, subdirectory. Um, and also because I've asked it to, it's, it's switched to uh, that theme. Let's just press the continue button here. Okay, so now we've got an additional theme. It's got no screenshot here as I explained before. Um, and uh, now this page I won't refresh because I want you to be able to compare but let's have a look at the new front page now. I'll just open that in another tab. Okay so that's the original and this is the new over here. Um, and as you can see the menu at the top has been upset and at the bottom as well. So I'm going to need to fix that up and I'll run through how that's done in a moment but that's basically the process of creating a child theme. Now let, let's have a look in the control panel file manager and see, uh, okay yep so here is the directory um, and as you can see we've got a fun footer, functions, header, PHP and styles and that's what the theme child theme creator has created for us. Now in, into this we've got to add um, a screenshot JPEG if we want a, a nice looking image there. Um, and the next thing to do is just fix up those formatting errors which uh, I'll do in just a moment.